Good morning vlog! It is a Wednesday, so I'm having lunch with my family, except I'm really only having lunch with my sister because everyone else can't make it. So we're gonna eat, and this time Bird is joining us for Hello. lunch. <laughs> so we're gonna go eat lunch, and then I also got hella Amazon packages because it was just Prime Day and whenever Prime Day is coming up I add a bunch of stuff to my cart that I want and then I see if it goes on sale and if it does then I buy it so you gotta make sure that you're getting a good deal when you shop on Prime Day because sometimes they raise the price before Prime Day and then they lower the price so it makes it seem like it's a sale when it's not really a sale so don't fall for that anyway <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff I bought for Prime Day but first we're gonna go to lunch Let's go! So basically you grab one of these big bowls and you grab a tongs. Can you grab me one? Thanks. <laughs> they have all these different meats and vegetables and toppings. You basically just add whatever you want and then they you pay by weight. So just be mindful when you're grabbing stuff to, you know, the first time bird put too much stuff <laughs> but yeah so they have like all meats and vegetables fish balls they have like a lot of different kinds of noodles rice noodles vermicelli udon potato noodles etc etc oh even ramen too but yeah they have like tons of stuff to choose from the possibilities are endless all right i don't know if i really took my own advice because this feels pretty heavy already what about you bird okay okay feel mine oh mine's heavier oh yours is heavier than mine I think so. really yeah, we'll see. I got some beef, spinach, udon, fishball with roe, potato noodles, tofu, mushroom, quail eggs. I think that's mostly everything I got. And then they have a really good sauce bar here with lots of different stuff. I usually just go for cilantro, green onion, and garlic, and like some sort of soy sauce or ponzu. Looks like they don't have ponzu, so just the soy sauce. That's my go-to. All right, mine just came. So yeah, they after they weigh it, they take it into the back and they make it into a soup. They have different things to choose from. They actually have one that's not a soup. It's like a dry hot pot thing. Birds just arrived. Mine looks better. <laughs> so you can see my mushrooms. I got some udon noodles. These are those potato noodles. They're very chewy. Got some tofu, meat, quail egg, fish balls, vegetables. Yum, yum. Yum. That one looks good too. Yeah. Let's eat. Yum, yum, yum. Me and Bird got a milk tea soft serve with the taiyaki on top with taro filling and Oreo topping as well as a macaron and we're gonna share this and then what did you get? Mm. Uh, half ube, half cookies and cream. Mmm, it's pretty. The swirl, yeah, yeah. very pretty. <laughs> yum yum yum. All right, we are home from lunch now and I have a lash appointment in about an hour. I kind of forgot. So we're gonna quickly go through all this Amazon stuff and then I have to schedule a vlog tonight as well as finish editing a short form. So I still have a few things left to do before my lash appointment, but let's just get started. I don't know what's in any of these boxes and I ordered a lot of stuff. So it'll kind of be like a little present, almost like Christmas, except that I paid for all of it. <laughs> Christmas presents from me to me. <laughs> I also always have to mention this little slice tool thing. We have like two or three of these because me and Bird like them so much, but they're really good for like opening packages and it's made out of ceramic, so you're not gonna cut yourself or anything. So it's like a safe way to have like a box cutter slash box opener. So yeah, highly recommend. We'll link it in the description along with all this other stuff that I got. First box. I restocked on my sunscreen because it was on sale. I forgot how much, it was maybe like 20% off or something, which was pretty good because I usually, you know, have to pay full price. So I stocked up. I think I got like three of these. They're just, I think there's another one in some of the other boxes. I also got this stain remover thing. I think it's more for, it's supposed to be for like, if you have kids and you have messy kids, it's supposed to be like a stain remover for kids making a mess when they eat, but my job revolves around food. Sometimes I get stains on my shirt, 
so I thought I would try this. Let me know if you guys actually recommend any sort of stain remover that works really well. I'm always on the hunt for a good one because as I said, it's my job to eat food. So sometimes there's a lot of stains. <laughs> Second box. Ah, I got this JBL speaker. I actually already have one of these that I bought during the October Prime Day last year. And I liked it so much that me and Bird wanted another one. So when I saw that it was on sale, for Prime Day this time, I definitely snagged it. Cause I was looking for it in the July Prime Day sale, but it wasn't on sale. So I'm glad that for the October Prime Day sale, it was on sale again. So highly recommend, it's waterproof, portable, very easy to connect to your devices via Bluetooth. And it's also easy to disconnect it from the device on your Bluetooth. Like for example, if it's already connected to your phone, but you want it to connect to your computer, you can just press a button on the speaker to disconnect it from your phone. And then on your computer, you can click it and connect it, if that makes sense. I just appreciate that feature because I've had Bluetooth speakers in the past where you have to go and disconnect it from the device instead of being able to just disconnect it from the speaker. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I got a few more beauty things. This one is the CC cream I use. All the IT Cosmetics stuff was 30% off, which is nice and I definitely take advantage of it because I always use this CC cream so I got a extra and then this one I've never tried before it's the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder I saw it had good reviews and I've been looking for different kinds of powders so I thought I would try it so I got these two. Ooh, another beauty thing I got my living proof dry shampoo this one I've really been enjoying it so it's always on sale for Prime Day so I usually pick it up I think it was about like 20% off so got a refill on that it's been all like beauty stuff so far. Trust me, I got a lot of other stuff too. Ooh, yes, I got AirPods. These are the second generation ones. They were on sale for $89 for Prime Day. I got these for my sister as a Christmas gift and I'm not spoiling it because I already told her I got it. <laughs> oh, this one I think is actually not Prime or it's not an Amazon package. I just put all my packages in the corner. So I have a surprise one that's not Amazon related. Oh, oh my gosh. It's actually a collab that my friend did with this brand called Silky Gem and they make those like really crunchy crystal candies. I don't know if you guys have seen those on TikTok. They're like so pretty and they're like little jellies, I guess. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute little box and it comes with all these different kinds of crystal candies. I've actually never tried these before. I always see them on TikTok and I see people like satisfyingly crunch on them. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad they sent this to me so I can finally try it. And it's my friend's collab. It's Trin does things on Instagram and TikTok. I actually originally met her on YouTube back like four years ago, I think, when we were both like really small YouTubers in the Bay Area and we actually did a collab where we like did cheap eats in Berkeley. So that's a really big throwback. But yeah, oh my God, so cool that she did this collab with Silky Gem. This one is a lychee flavor. I'll just try it really quick. I'm so excited. Look how pretty that is. Mmm. Oh, it does taste like lychee. And I, the outer crystal thing, it's so crunchy. It's like kind of jelly candy slash gummy candy on the inside. Such a fun little like candy slash snack. Well, that was a fun little break from our Amazon package haul, but now we're back to the Amazon stuff. Oh. I got this four terabyte solid state drive. I feel like I buy a solid state drive in like every Prime Day sale, but this one's four terabyte. So it has a lot more storage, which I need more storage. I mean, I'm constantly taking videos for the main channel, the vlog for short form, et cetera, et cetera. So could always use more storage. And I feel like this was a pretty good deal too. I can't really remember exactly how much it was. And then the other thing I got is, this is like a little travel tech organizer like where you can put your cables and stuff and i bought this because it's kind of a small one all the ones that i have are bigger ones for when i travel like go on a trip but sometimes i just want to go work at a coffee shop or something like that and i need a little tech pouch that doesn't need to carry like all my different camera batteries and cords and stuff but it can just hold my simple computer and phone cords and whatever else i need i can put my hard drives in here as well so yeah, I just got this little tech pouch. Then actually these are like the same, wait, these are the same product. Okay, the backstory is that I have this huge water bottle, this one, it's 50 ounces. And I love this thing. Like out of all the water bottles I've tried in the past, which 
I've tried a lot. I've had so many hydro flasks and Simple Modern, which is this brand. I've tried a lot of their water bottles too, but I really like this one because it holds 50 ounces. It has a straw. It doesn't really leak. It has like a leaf proof thing at the top. If it's really, really full and you tip it over, then it does leak a little bit, but not too bad. So anyway, I really love this thing. And the cup holder that I have in my car, I bought an extender one for my hydro flask, but that one doesn't fit this because this is just a lot bigger. So I went and looked for one that was bigger for the car and that could fit my new favorite water bottle. And I bought two different ones because I wanted to see which one was better. So that way I could compare them and then whichever one I didn't like, I could, you know, return it or something. So these are supposed to be two different products technically that I ordered on Amazon from two different brands, but they're literally the same product. Like, as you can see, the whole, like, the packaging is literally the same. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so I guess I'll just keep the one that was cheaper. I think one was like maybe a dollar or two cheaper than the other one, but they're the same product. I hope it works though, because it's such a pain to bring this around with me when it doesn't fit in any of my car cup holders because I put it in my passenger seat or if someone's in the passenger seat, they have to help me hold it. So yeah, it would be very helpful to have a car cup holder that can fit my big water bottle. All right, moving right along. We got another one. This is a big box with a lot of stuff. I got a few desk or like drawer organizers. I've ordered these before and I like them. I have an Ikea Alex drawer in my office, the very common one that like literally everyone has. And it was really hard to find organizers that fit really well in that drawer thing from ikea so i found that these drawer organizers fit perfectly in that ikea alex drawer thing with these these are like cable organizers but you really could use it for anything they come with these little tabs that you can use to tie your cables together and then you basically just store your cables in these little sections but you can use it for anything like any sort of office supplies paper clips staples any little like knickknack type of things this in combination with these fit perfectly in the ikea alex drawer and it's so satisfying then i also got some more wooden spoons they were on sale these are the wooden spoons i always use to eat soup or fried rice or whatever honestly anything <laughs> like i love these spoons and since they were on sale i figured it doesn't hurt to have more or I could also give them as a good gift as well because I really feel like once you get these wooden spoons, you just can't go back. Oh my gosh, yes. I also got this cute fruit bowl to put on my counter because as you guys know, we always have our morning smoothies. So a lot of times I just leave the bananas on the countertop and I figured it was time to get a fruit bowl to put my bananas in. So look how cute this is. It has like three little legs and it's like ceramic, very nice quality. And it's just so cute. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Tony, what's going on? Hello, yes, we have lots of packages. She's rubbing on everything. See, she's rubbing on everything. She's so funny. We got another big one. This is an acrylic cutting board that you can just leave on your counter. So that way you don't have to keep going and taking out a cutting board. Anytime you wanna cut something, you can just, this has like a little lip to be flush with your countertop. I think it has a film on it and that's why it looks like kind of cloudy. Yeah, there's a film on it. So I just thought this was good to have because it's annoying to every time you wanna cut something or do anything on the countertop, you have to take out a cutting board and to just have this sitting out on the countertop already would be very helpful and save a lot of time and it's obviously very easy to wash and stuff this one i think i'm gonna see how i like it and decide if i want to keep it i might return it i don't know just because we don't have a lot of counter space but if you have like a bigger kitchen that has a lot of counter space i feel like this is helpful yeah i don't know i just think regardless this is could be a very helpful thing to have in the kitchen. Oh, oh my God, I'm excited about this actually. I don't think I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like assembled because I'm not gonna assemble it right now. But basically what this is, is a water bottle organizer. And like I told you guys, I have so many water bottles or I also just have a collection of cute bottles to make boba in as well for the content that I make. So it would be nice to have like a proper storage solution for all the different bottles that I have. But yeah, I'm very excited about this. All right, this I've actually shown in a different Amazon 
crime haul video, I think. I got this planner and since that video, I've been using this planner like every day. I love this planner and it was on sale for Prime Day, so I just grabbed another one. So if you're looking for a simple basic planner, Definitely recommend. I also like how this one doesn't number the dates for you or anything. So if you skip a day, it's not like a page is wasted. So yeah, I really enjoy this. Oh, and then this is a makeup brush holder. I think it's silicone. So it's good for when you travel and you want to have a place to put your makeup brushes. It's just like a little silicone case. So it's easy to clean. It has like a magnetic closure and you can fit a few brushes in here. I don't have that many makeup brushes, so I thought this was perfect. And what prompted me to buy this was that when we went to Davis, I packed all my makeup and stuff in a little travel bag type thing, and my makeup brushes made my case all like dirty and stuff, so I thought this was a good solution to keep my makeup brushes in. And then I also got this laptop carrying case. I thought it was very cute. It's like a little puffy, so there's some protection. I realized I didn't have a laptop carrying case, so I definitely needed one. And the inside is very soft, so it'll definitely be protective of your laptop. So I'm excited to use this. It's very cute and aesthetic. <laughs> this is another big one. Oh, lots of stuff in here. First up, I got these little cat treats. They're supposed to be good for their dental health. So we've been giving these to the cats. They were on sale, so I just grabbed some. Then more cat things. I got these calming diffusers. We've been using these mostly ever since we got Ollie. One, to hope to calm him down a little bit, but also we got them when we were introducing Tony to Ollie so that maybe she would feel more calm when he was around. Then we picked up some Mighty Patches, Hero, pimple patches. We really like these. Bird loves them. Every time we travel too, he's like, make sure you pack the pimple patches. And yeah, every time he has a pimple, he's like, just throws a little patch on there. And I use them as well, of course. And this is something I've never tried before, but I saw everyone talking about this. It's a snail mucin power essence by CauseRx, which is like a Korean skincare brand. So this is supposed to be really good and like improve the texture of your skin, be like really moisturizing and stuff. So it was on sale for Prime Day. So I grabbed one. I've never tried it before. I'm very curious about it though. I'll see, I'll report back to you guys. Oh, and then another, <laughs> cat thing is this water additive also for their teeth. It actually wasn't on sale for Prime Day, but since I was buying all the other cat stuff, it reminded me that I need more of this. Oh, then I also got these press on nails. I've been very interested in trying press on nails recently. I think all the Instagram ads targeted me. And as you guys know, me and Bird are going to get engaged by the end of the year. So I thought trying some press on nails might be a good option to have my nails done when we get engaged, I don't know. So yeah, I saw a lot of um, ads for this brand called Glamnetic. So the ads really worked on me. I saw that they were on sale on Prime Day and I grabbed a set. So we'll see how this goes. Then I also got this little handheld vacuum. We actually already have a handheld vacuum upstairs, but I've been looking for one to keep downstairs. And this one was on sale for only like $35, I wanna say, and it looks pretty good. Like the reviews were pretty good. So I grabbed this because, especially because a lot of the times there'll be little like clumps of fur all around downstairs because of the cats. So I'm excited to use this and also in my car. I think this would be a good car vacuum too. Then another thing that ads worked on me for is this Dawn Power Wash. I saw so many ads for this and I didn't really know if it was worth it, but I saw that it had really good reviews and it was on sale for Prime Day. So I was like, okay, let's give it a try. Let's see if it's any good. Oh, and then I forgot I got this. Another CauseRx Korean skincare brand thing that I got is Snail Hydrogel Eye Patches. So these go under your eyes and I'm always looking for things to help my under eyes because I feel like they're dry and I also have under eye bags. So hopefully this will help. Oh no, my box came all damaged, but this is a car phone mount. So basically it sticks to your windshield and it holds your phone there. I've been looking for new ones for my car. I have a good one for my camera, but for my phone, I don't really have a good car mount. So I saw this one, I think it had good reviews. Oh yeah, so it can suction to your windshield. You connect this thing here. And then I believe this is MagSafe. So you can just stick your phone on there and you don't have to like, mess with any, you know, clamps or anything. I hate doing that. So if it's MagSafe, I'm all about it. And then similarly to the tech pouch 
situation i also realized that all the toiletry bags i have are pretty big and they're for when i'm actually traveling for a few days or a week or a few weeks etc etc and i don't really have one for a like one to two or three day trip so i got this toiletry bag that I think would be good for like smaller trips where I don't need to bring as much stuff. Basically has a, this one inside pocket, which you unzip like that. And then there's another pocket, I guess, where you can put other stuff in there. And then there's a third pocket, which is actually waterproof, which I found this really, really nice in case you have anything that might leak or sometimes something isn't done drying. Like my travel loofah, as dry as I try to get it before I pack it, sometimes it's still wet. So I think it'd be good to just like throw it in there. And yeah, I feel like this would be good for those like short trips, like a weekend trip or something. Next, I got these microfiber makeup removal cloths. I think you guys have seen me talk about these before, but I actually bought this for my mom because she was curious what makeup wipes I use. And I told her, I don't use makeup wipes. I use these reusable cloths. So I got them for her to try. Hopefully she likes them. I also got these little lights. We actually have a pair of these and we liked using them when we would do our little fort nights where we like build a fort and put all the blankets and we have our projector and we watch lots of like shows and movies. These are just nice to like set the cozy ambience while also not having any open flames. You know, these are fake lights, <laughs> fake candles, and it comes with a remote. So you can actually program them to turn off after like two hours, four hours, six hours, etc. So that way they don't just stay on forever. Then I also got a blink outdoor camera this one spoke to me because it doesn't need any wires because it's such a pain to set up cameras with wires and stuff we have cameras around the house mostly to keep track of the cats and when we're gone we check up on them but this one is particularly nice for outdoor because yeah you can literally just put it anywhere it sticks to like anything and you don't have to worry about wires. So I think this is a good purchase. I've actually had my eye on this for a few months and I was waiting for Prime Day to get it. Whew, I think this is our last package, I hope. <laughs> So speaking of MagSafe, I got a few different MagSafe mounts that are supposed to be able to go on your tripods and stuff. I actually did get a MagSafe mount before for a tripod, but it doesn't stick that well. It's not that strong. So I'm hoping that one of these will be stronger because I don't want to like be vlogging and then my phone just falls off <laughs> because the MagSafe wasn't strong enough. So it's very important to me that the MagSafe can hold my phone pretty sturdily. <laughs> and then I also got a label maker. I've been wanting a label maker actually for like over a year ever since we moved into this house basically but i've never actually pulled the plug and bought a label maker i saw this one had really good reviews and i think you can actually connect it to your phone so you can type out whatever label you want to make and do, do different like designs and stuff i don't know that's what i saw on the listing page so i'm very excited about this label maker next i got these little decorative bins and i think these are good for like putting on the counter if you want to organize stuff or it also has this like kind of I don't know if this material is like linen I don't know like the stuff that they use to line laundry baskets or laundry hampers so it has that kind of feel to it which I feel like does good for storage in the bathroom so it comes with two one of them is bigger than the other one like they fit like this so yeah I was thinking of just storing like toilet paper in this one or something and putting it on the toilet so it's easy to access and then I'll find a use for this somewhere but yeah I thought these little decorative baskets were cute i don't know i love me a good decorative basket if i'm being honest oh oh my gosh this oh my gosh i'm so excited about this i got a ergonomic keyboard because you guys know i recently well a few months ago i got an ergonomic mouse and i've been really liking that so i was thinking i should get an ergonomic keyboard as well but yeah it seems nice i hope it will help my ergonomics <laughs> obviously because my job requires a lot of time looking at a computer editing writing emails etc etc so i'm very excited about this ergonomic keyboard all right and then last but not least i actually got this little projector i'm not completely sure if i will keep it because we have a projector already but this one spoke to me because it's a mini projector and so it's actually a portable projector so this you can plug into a normal outlet like any other projector but it also can plug into a power bank so you can use it like anywhere so yeah i also feel like this would be good if you have kids and it even says mini projector for happy kids cartoon time <laughs> 
So yeah, now I pretty much have to clean this all up and go to my lash appointment. This time for my lashes, I know I took you guys along with me to get lash extensions and I'm going back to the same girl who did the lash extensions, but this time I'm gonna try a lash lift. I think they like perm your natural lashes to go upwards. So that way it like looks more natural and stuff. I don't know. I just figured I would try each one and see which one I liked better. So yeah, let's go to my lash appointment. Wow. Oh yeah. I like it. It's like, it looks more natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But still like something, you know? Mm -hmm. I can see the subtle curl. Yeah. And this lasts, you said six to eight weeks? Mm -hmm. Wow. Very nice. Okay, bird's reaction. One, two, three. Ah. Look very natural. Yeah. Well, because it's my natural lashes, but they are lifted. Whoa. Even when I'm just here, uh, you can see the the lashes up, you know? Oh, yeah. It does look up. It looks up, right? Yeah. <laughs> up. up. It's not as... Um, yeah, it's not as dramatic. dramatic. It's it's much more natural because it's using your natural lashes. Yeah, yeah. I keep looking at them. <laughs> Lashes. Lashes, girl. <laughs> All right, so it's been a few days since I got my lash lift. And as you can see, it's still going strong. And since it's been a few days, I feel like I can kind of give you a little better of a comparison or more notes on how I liked it. So with the lash extensions, obviously it's more noticeable. Like there's a more noticeable difference. This is definitely more natural, which I feel like this is better for me for day to day, but maybe I would get the extensions if there's some sort of special events going on. So maybe since the proposal's coming up and all that, I might go with the extensions, but for like day to day stuff where I don't really have a lot going on, then maybe I would do the lash perm. The lash perm was faster. I would say it was about an hour, whereas the extension was about two hours. And the lash perm also lasts longer. It's supposed to last six to eight weeks and the lash extensions lasted maybe two to three weeks-ish. And then also the lash perm is cheaper. The lash extensions, I think it was 160 and then the lash perm was 120. The biggest thing that I like better about the lash perm is that having the lash extensions made me realize that I touch my eyes a lot. Like I love rubbing my eyes which maybe is not the best thing for me but sometimes it just feels good to like rub your eyes you know like when you have stuff in your eyes or whatever and you're trying to get it out but when you have lash extensions you pretty much can't do that but with a lash perm you can't so the lash perm is a lot less maintenance the lash extensions you have to wash them you have to be super careful around your eyes whereas the lash perm you can kind of just do whatever you can just like live your life you know so yeah that's my little review of lash extensions versus lash perm but yeah that's gonna do it for this vlog if you made it this far comment below cute fruit bowl <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one bye